When we last saw this bill, I felt that Democrats and Governor, Governor Dayton had the best plan to address premium relief in the fastest and most efficient manner. Senate File 1 returns us from conference committee with Governor Dayton's plan for immediate relief intact. When this bill passed through the House, some toxic amendments were attached that would have re reversed our vision of working toward health care access for all people and returned us to the days when people who developed cancer or diabetes would bankrupt their families in a struggle to stay alive, those toxic amendments have been removed. I share my colleagues' reservations about allowing for-profit insurers to enter the Minnesota market, possibly to exploit some of our poorest citizens and possibly to loot our public dollars. And I think I share the reservations of every member of this body that we are spending $300 million of our precious reserve fund on a temporary fix. But Madam President, we have rushed together to address a desperate emergency. Democrats and Republicans, House members and Senate members, we saw Minnesotans in distress and we ran to the scene. I will vote yes to pass this bill today, but harder work lies ahead. We will need to trust each other and to share ideas to diagnose and treat the underlying problem. We can't spend $300 million next January on this same issue. Governor Dayton has proposed an expansion of Minnesota care and a public option. I urge the members to consider the benefits of such a proposal in future days. It gives Minnesotans the opportunity to purchase an insurance product at a reasonable cost, and it gives us some control over rapidly escalating health care costs. By asserting reasonable priorities about health delivery and negotiating better terms for costs. And it can continue our very natural trajectory towards fulfilling our moral obligation as a society to ensure health care access for all Minnesotans. Thank you, Madam President, and it is my deepest hope that my yes vote today will pave the way for very necessary conversations and compromises that will be needed in the months ahead.